Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. You've heard it. I've heard it. Anti-gunners like to ask questions to take authority of a subject they know nothing about, but they're trying to catch you in a gotcha-like moment by taking authority and saying, I know better, so I'm going to quiz you. So I came up with 10 stupid questions that anti-gunners ask, and I'm going to give you a short little answer after each one. Do you keep guns loaded in the house? Well, yeah, because I seriously doubt any criminal is going to give me an opportunity to load my gun so I can properly defend myself and my family. Who needs more than five bullets? I do. Because if the criminal has 15, five ain't going to cut it. What exactly are you afraid of? Are you paranoid? It's not that I'm paranoid, but I believe in being prepared. Much like I like to keep enough gas in my vehicle to get where I'm going, enough food on the shelves in case me or my family gets hungry. It's called preparation, which is typically a good thing in America. Does that thing even have a safety on it? Some do, some don't. Whether you like it or not, people have their choice as to which type of firearm they want to use and if it has a safety or not. Some people have a safety, don't engage it. Other people prefer to use a safety. It's up to the individual and not some liberal like yourself. Why can't you just call the police? The average police response time in America is 11 minutes. A lot can go bad in 11 minutes. I prefer to take care of my problems on my own because the police are not right around the corner like you and the media tend to think they are. Why do you need an automatic gun? I don't have an automatic gun, but if I did, I'd certainly use it in a self-defense scenario. If someone comes in your house, why not just shoot him in the leg? If I shoot him in the leg, it may not end the threat. None of my training courses have ever said shoot the person in the leg. You have to end the threat. Whether they have a bat, a knife, or a gun, you have to end the threat. Shooting in the leg may not do that. Will that gun just go off on its own? No, it won't, but I can see that your mouth does and it's getting old quick. A gun has a trigger which needs to be pulled for the gun to fire. Don't you understand the Second Amendment was created for muskets? Not true. The Second Amendment was created for the people, we the people, to protect ourselves from a tyrannical government. Do you really need an assault rifle to hunt deer? No, but I could. I need a modern sporting rifle to protect myself if that's my choice, and I have that choice, not you. It has nothing to do with hunting. So there are my 10 dumb questions. I know there are many more. Share them with me, and perhaps we'll do a part two. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.